fresh off that win against Portland by 19. And T, as you mentioned, Sacramento struggling. They've lost five straight. The Spurs, the Lakers, Bucks, Timberwolves, and most recently, a 12-point loss to Detroit. Donovan trying to stay on the hip. Down on the block, they go inside. That's Rashawn Holmes in his sixth year out of Bowling Green. Here comes Royce O'Neal running one into the other. Blocked from behind, and now you'll see the running ability of the Sacramento Kings. They are number six in the NBA in pace. That's the, that bounce back ability you always talk about. You know, they, they figure out what needs to be better. Now they had that huge third quarter against Portland. In fact, a 40 to 19 run to really put that game away. Right now, a bit of a struggle to start on this home floor. Sacramento looks very comfortable, and now they're gaining confidence. Air balls a three. Conley takes the loose ball, brings it quickly into front court, showing the speed, and on the rim. Beautiful pass. Conley finds Gobert. Even take it and go through the arms of reaching defenders. Fox takes the shot and drains it. He, they still want, want him to be aggressive, like any coach would say. Take the shots, they're going to find their way down. And early success for Fox, early success for, for D. Faze on that inside play. It's about him having the best hands in the NBA, and I don't doubt that. The ball's anywhere near him on the offensive end on a pass or a 50-50 ball. That's the kind of body up you need to have. Close that distance with the defender, take the hit, and finish. Quickly, back. Comes De'Aaron Fox, and he runs it right up the chest of favor. Comes Joe, jingles into front court, and a handoff to Donovan. Space inside. Oh, a circus shot, and Donovan Mitchell knocks down his first bucket. That's true, Donovan Mitchell right there. Coming up on the three-and-a-half-minute mark of the first quarter. Again, Mitchell attacks. All wow. he needs, all he needs, T, is just a little, little seam. A lot of players can do that. I mean, Donovan just has a knack even if he's going over a bigger player, of where to place that basketball, whether it's off the glass or just a drop in, being dependent upon that three-point shot. And we're surprised when it's not going, but every team goes through it. Just have to work your way out of it by getting inside. Like Joe, you got to learn how to win in different ways, right? And the Jazz are, are figuring that out right now. Conley leans into one and throws it down. Finally, off the hand of Conley and another Mountain America Credit Union three-point shot. $50 out to the Huntsman Cancer Foundation. We're tied at 31. Conley dances, spins off the Niang, fires up the three. Got it. George Niang. Drive inside Holmes. Rudy left his feet. No call. Drops in free throw line where Rudy doesn't come all the way out and leaves him an open shot. Nicely done. Oni from the corner right in front of the Jazz bench with six points in the half. Utah is hitting six of their last seven from three. A couple of hits off the rim and the Kings have it. They feed down low and again the Jazz slow to get back and the, the paint belongs to Holmes right now. Jazz trying to find the bucket. Joe launches up the shot. Bang! Yes, the Jazz slowing down that 9-2 run by Sacramento. He won a championship, remember, with Golden State back in the day. Donovan, oh, beautiful move. As have Donovan and Royce O'Neal with Boyan, Faves, and Joe on the court. Halliburton, the rookie, fires up that three. He's silky smooth from deep. He's the number two. Rookie three-point shooter percentage. Mike has a knack of hitting shots when the Jazz need one. Utah back by three, but not for long as healed. Scoring first half. That ball tapped out, rebounded. Quick outlet from Conley. Bogey stuck. Drive it, score it. Royce O'Neal. Beautiful instincts. An assist for the Jazz in the half. And 11 for the Sacramento Kings. Here's Fox. Fires deep and in. Wow, his numbers don't show that he he hits that very often. At AmericaFirst.com for details. We talked about Donovan's uh, shooting stats, 3 for 13 at this point. Halliburton, the rookie looks confident. Nice pass on the rim and Holmes with a 19-point first half. Rudy, off his hand, Halliburton drives in on Bogey. Oh, Donovan came out of nowhere and slapped that ball. That was a kill shot by way of volleyball language. Who stops? Jazz have the ball. 
Out front is O'Neal. Here's Donovan. 3 of 13 in the first half. I tell you, there's something magical about Donovan. Bradley with a nice job to chase it and tip it away into the hands of Donovan. Mitchell, three ball. Got it. You stay with it, T. There you go. Back inside. And that's what Sacramento, you know, they made the adjustment at the timeout to go back inside to Holmes. Mitchell has scored nine straight for Utah. There's Heald off the wing three. Drained it. Buddy Heald, a quick five. They were big against Portland and a must tonight. He's going to back out behind the three. Short shot clock. Here's Royce on a dribble drive inside. Oh, hammers it. Space open and O'Neal saw it and took it right on top of the rim. Fox has it in his hands with a four-point lead. But he healed for three. He can get hot in the hurt. Has him now hit 10 threes, 10 of 31. Sacramento making seven consecutive shots, make it eight inside. 28-22 at the half advantage. Joe Ingles. At nine in the first half. Yes, sir. Splash it home, Joe. Royce O'Neal, Donovan Mitchell, and Joe. Mitchell gets it back. Back out. Wing. Three. Joe Ingles. Yes. Yes, Joe. Back-to-back -back three point shots. Nice job by D. Faves on timing that Fox layup. Donovan. He willed that ball to roll in. It's it. I've been working on yet another 30-point game. That ball blocked by Derek. Here comes Ingles. Picks up the ball, flies up a three, and hits it. You have made him mad now. 17-1 to run over the last four minutes. The Jazz lead 92-85. Inside power and the bucket by Barnes. Yep. And so the way he plays, it goes really to his advantage, I think, because he doesn't take a lot of contact as Conley dishes up a three ball. No, he plays at his own pace. Nice job finding Mike Conley on that last play for a three. Fox takes it hard to the rack. And it really is Donovan Mitchell time as we know it. Engel stays on the court. Niang hits the three. Joe wants everyone back quickly on defense. Utah right now with their largest lead of nine. The Kings led by 11 in the first half. Flick of the wrist and the three down by Heald. Yeah, Buddy Heald doesn't need much time to get that shot off at all. Niang just off the mark. Heald quickly runs downhill. Kicks it out. Halliburton corner three. Finally, we see a mid-range shot, T. No run now for the Kings, and they take a lead of two. Mitchell spinning, beautiful move, left hand. Oh, only a shot Mitchell could make. Spinning again, Donovan takes on a double team, caught the rim, and in. Well, this is Donovan Mitchell time right here. Unreal. 37 against the Blazers, and he's got 32, and still working. Scoops it up. Comes up short, grabs a rebound, count it! And they steal it away. Well, he dribbled it. That was the problem. And then a back cut. No one covered the baseline, and Barnes in double digits with 11. Jazz really covering his bogey. Nice rhythm shot for him. Oh, there he is. Tapped by Derek Favors. It's a two point game. Donovan reverses and hits it. Unreal. He was going back outside, made a U-turn, and went right to the rim. Out to Royce. So he timed it perfectly. Heels stole it and flushes home too. Timeout. Fires a pass out to Conley. Shot clock at seven. Mike, left-hand dribble drive. Up it goes. Soft touch. Oh, cut the rim and drops. 37 and 40. Stolen by Mitchell. Pass out. Conley. Three ball up. Bang! Joe tried to kick that shot out of the air, and they get a three drilled straight away by Fox. And Utah becomes the first 40-win team in the NBA with a win tonight, 128 to 112. That's big, boy.